satellite data processing examples in Image Media Center software. This video contains several examples of satellite data thematic processing in Image Media Center software. The imagery on the territory of State of Qatar is used in these thematic tasks. Firstly, we open Vector World Map. The boundary of Qatar is highlighted in red color. We zoom into the area of interest and visualize the state's names from the vector attribute table on the map. User can adjust the style, font, size and color of the displayed text. The territory of Qatar can be covered with two lens scenes. The borders of the images are highlighted in purple color. We can display the quick looks of the images on the map. Preliminary processing for Landsat 8 data. We open one of the scenes that fall on the territory of Qatar and adjust the image's histogram for better terrain objects visualization. Then we delete the empty corners of the image and load another scene. We can merge these two images into the mosaic automatically. The histogram of the loaded image will be automatically adjusted according to the histogram settings of the base image which allows to create seamless mosaics. The Landsat Imagery Archive contains data from 1972 to nowadays and covers the whole Earth. Let's compare images taken on the 1972 and 2016. For the term longer than 40 years, the significant landscape changes have occurred. The urbanized territory of state is expanding. On the current image, we can see many infrastructure objects, road network, agricultural fields, and shoreline changes. We zoom in to the Doha city, the capital of the state of Qatar, and inspect the shoreline changes. We can see artificial islands and shore area expansion. The area of the city itself increased significantly. We can also notice circular agricultural fields. Terrain changes detection based on the Landsat data. Now we will detect changes which have occurred during the period since 1972. We open both images and perform processing on the territory of Qatar. You can see a grayscale index image. We select the changed areas and vectorize the result. Green color displays the detected changes. We can set vector object style and fill vector layer with attribute information. Agricultural lands are colored in green, blue color displays the infrastructure changes, and yellow color shows the changes of the landscape. The total area of changed territories over 44 years is about 10% from the area of the whole state of Qatar. The changes are detected quite roughly because of the insufficient spatial resolution of the images. More accurate detection can be carried out on the images of the higher resolution. The report is generated automatically. It contains the images of 1972 and 2016, vector map of the detected changes, insight map, legend, and territory analysis statistics. Now we open the image obtained by the Russian Resource Space Satellite. It has 70 cm per pixel resolution. Multispectral image from Landsat 8 satellite has 30 meters spatial resolution. We will use the blind tool to compare two images. The fragment shows LED air base region. Change detection results rectification based on resource P data. Now we will perform a change detection based on two high resolution resource P satellite images. These images have 70 cm spatial resolution. First image is taken on 2014 and the second one is in 2015. We detect the area of intersection of two images and calculate the index image for the intersecting territories. Then we vectorize the detected changes and fill the layer with attribute data. To verify the detected changes, we open both images and place the resulting vector layer over them. Blind tool allows us to evaluate the accuracy of the object's detection. We change the style of vector layer to transparent and compare two images within the borders of the detection. 
MC provides a wide range of tools for manual vectorization as well. We can delete the falsely detected objects and edit the borders of vector polygons. User can also add new objects, edit them and fill with attribute information. After we modify the borders of vector objects, we recalculate their areas. We check the attribute information update and save the vector layer. Dangerous phenomenon detection based on the resource P data. We open the image obtained by resource P on 2015. Transmission towers can be detected by their shadows. The transmission line is displayed in red color. We generate a 1 km buffer zone along the power transmission line. Within this area, we will perform sand dunes detection. After the semantic processing, we vectorize the detected objects. Sand dunes are displayed in orange color. We check the attribute table, which is filled automatically. It contains the type and area of vector objects. Then we verify the accuracy of the detection. The resulting report is generated automatically. It contains the vector map superimposed on the image, information about the image, inside map, legend, and the statistical information on the amount and area of the sand dunes. Transport Infrastructure Risk Area Detection We crop the vector layer by the borders of the image. We use SQL Query to select the necessary object. Then we open the pipeline vector layer and also crop it the same way. We find the intersection between two vector layers and create a layer of risk areas. We place the vector layers on the image to verify the result of the detection. Risk areas are colored in red. We zoom in and use the blind tool to check the accuracy of the detection. The resulting report is generated automatically. It contains the vector map superimposed on the image, information about the image, insight map, legend and statistical information on the amount of risk areas. Monitoring of waters based on Sentinel-1 radar data. We open Sentinel-1 satellite image, which is taken in two VH and VV polarizations. Processing will be performed within 12 miles from the shoreline area. It is highlighted in red color. Ship's detection is carried out within the area of interest. The vector layer with the detected ships is generated automatically. We zoom into the image to verify the result of the processing. Bright spots on the radar image are ships. The resulting report is generated automatically. It contains the vector map superimposed on the image, information about the image, inside map, legend, and statistical information on the amount of ships. 